Hi, this is Guru from GuruWrites.com with part 11 of the C# Sharp tutorial series. Switch statement. A switch statement allows a variable to be tested for equality against a list of values. Each value is called a case, and the variable being switched on is checked for each switch case. The syntax begins with a keyword switch followed by an expression in the parenthesis the expression should match the case or the cases available within the switch statement once it matches a specific case all the statements under that case are executed until the break statement is encountered once it encounters a break statement it breaks then and there avoids and skips all the other cases and comes out of the switch block this is how a switch case expression works let's look at a flow diagram for the same you start the switch statement encounter an expression if the expression is true and matches a case in our example this one the code block or the statements are all executed until a break is encountered once the break is encountered it straight away goes and enters into the stop mode which means your switch statement is exited if the case one fails it goes on to the next case and executes all the matching code blocks or statements followed by a break statement which is optional but once break is encountered it exits the switch case statement if none of the cases match then a default case is matched if it is available and all the statements in this are executed followed by an optional break this break if not encountered it will still go to the stopped statement because the default is the last case encountered in the switch case statement come let's launch visual studio 2015 and create a project to have a demo session go to c sharp windows console application project type and give it a name rename the class to switchcase.cs and in the main method of this class let's write down some code we want to accept two numbers from the end user so we prompt them for entering two numbers which we will store in two temporary literal variables of integer type a and b respectively once we have both these numbers with us we will try to compare them by asking the end user a choice to choose an operation which would be an arithmetic operation to be performed the result will then be stored in a temporary literal variable of type int by the name result which is initialized to zero initially we will now use the switch statement but before that we will ask the end user to enter an operation for us by choosing one of these four operators for multiplication addition subtraction and division based on the choices the end user makes the outcome will be presented as a case value so we will store this in a temporary literal string variable operation and now we will perform a switch case statement so write down switch open the bracket which is a parenthesis in which you write down the string operation that you have accepted from the end user and open your flower brackets within which you will write the case statements let's begin with the first case the case that you will write has to be of string type because that is the operation we have chosen in switch so we are using double key double quotes to represent a string and one of the possible values that the end user could write is a plus symbol if the user writes plus we will output a message saying what the user has entered which is nothing but addition in this case and then we will perform an operation and store the result of a and plus b within result once this is successful we will break out of this statement and that will bring you out of the switch case block 
Let's copy this and follow the other operations. The second one is a subtraction symbol. So we'll go ahead with minus, change the values here. And if it is not either of these two values, then it could be possibly multiplication. So let's choose an asterisk here and modify this to multiply and replace the symbol for a plus b with a multiplied with b. Now the break statement will break if this statement has the corresponding case. But sometimes people may enter other arbitrary values. For example, if we have multiple cases, we have different suggestions. We can write case asterisk or case cross because we expect people to write cross instead of asterisk. In this case now, both these statements will be matched. Either of them, if it is true, these statements will run and after a break is encountered, you will be thrown out of the switch statement the moment break is encountered. The last operation is a division and we will choose the same. It's not important that the end user will enter all the values that we expect. They may enter something that we do not expect at all. In that case, you can have a default statement. The default will run in case the user enters something you did not expect. And then we can show them a message something like this. Since the default is the last statement that is encountered, if no case matches, a break here is optional. So I'm just writing a comment. This is the end of switch statement. And after, the, after this, we have the result available with us. This result can be displayed onto the end user's console with a console.writeLine message. Come, let's hit control F5 to start without debugging and test our application now. Let's enter two numbers, A and B. And let's perform an operation like sub multiplication on them. And the result is as expected. Let's hit Control F5 once again and perform another operation on A and B. This time we choose subtraction and the result is once again as expected. Good. Let's run Control F5 again and perform another operation on these two numbers. This time it will be multiplication. But I wrote x instead of asterisk and it still worked. Finally, let's hit Control F5 and perform another operation which will be this time an asterisk. Or maybe something which is wrong. Let me enter equal to which is not an operation and you get invalid operation selected which was the default break statement. So let's review our scenario. You can have any number of case statements within a switch. Each case is followed by the value to be compared after following a semicolon. So as you can see here in this switch statement we've used multiple cases followed by columns, whichever matches the operation executes. The constant expression for a case must be the same data type as the variable in the switch and it must be a constant or a literal. As you can see the operation that we are using is a string type and henceforth the case is also being used as a string type here. The case should match the operation type. When the variable being switched on is equal to a case, the statements following that case will execute until a break statement is reached. So if you look at this scenario here, all the statements which are two in this case will execute until the break is encountered. So if a case matches, all the corresponding statements under that will execute until the break is encountered. 
When a break statement is reached, the switch terminates and the flow of control jumps to the next line following the switch. So as you can see, once a corresponding case is found as a match, the statements will execute and the break will fire, throwing you out of the switch block and the next statement which is this console.write line will run obviously after that. Not every case needs to contain a break. If no break appears, the flow of control will fall through to the subsequent cases until a break is encountered. You remember the case when we chose asterisk and cross. So we didn't have a break after this case. We had a break after these two cases together. So if any one of these cases match, the break will run only if one of these is true. A switch statement can have an optional default case at the end which must appear at the end of the switch. The default case can be used for performing a task when none of the cases is true. No break statement is needed in the default scenario. So you can see this is the default. It usually comes at the end though it's not important but it is a good practice and this break is optional. Thanks for your valuable time. If you feel you have learned something new today please click on the like button below. If you have any queries or suggestions, kindly post them down in the comment section below.